Ah, welcome, dear viewer, to another episode of Andrew Discusses, the video series where I talk about stuff and try to broaden your horizons and get your opinions and thoughts. See what you think and feel about a subject. Nah, I don't like that, op that opening either, but hey, I'm still working on it. How many freaking episodes is this now? <laughs> all right, I'm, all right, I give up. Uh, basically, this is the video series where I talk about stuff that pops into my head and try to start up a discussion with you, the viewers, via the comment section. I should just try that one. That kind of worked. But either way, uh, today's discussion topic is actually pretty interesting. So, as a lot of you know, I hate, with a passion, burning in the deepest part of my soul, Spongebob Squarepants. Yes, I have pretty much done everything but start a petition to get the little yellow bastard removed from television. And honestly, I'm really tempted to try a change.org just to see what happens. I mean, seriously, I am tempted to try. Hey, you know what, maybe I should. Da 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 I'll think about it. I'm not making any promises. But anyway... There was an interesting uh, comment that was brought up in one of my videos by uh, another viewer who said, and I quote, a lot of these channels and networks don't realize that cartoons aren't only for kids. And you know what? They're right. Cartoons aren't only for kids. I mean, let's think about this logically for a minute. Now, I'm 30. Okay, I am 30 years old. Technically 30 and a half if we really want to get to the nitty-gritty of it. But I'm 30. Okay? It means I have lived for three decades. I at least have an understanding of how cartoons function. I like something. I'll come out and tell you I like it. When I was growing up, I would watch Looney Tunes. I would watch Tom and Jerry. I watched the Flintstones, the Jetsons, the Snorks, the Smurfs. Um, oh god, so many other things. Um, I think Care Bears, I probably watched them at one point. I watched the Banana Splits. Uh, I watched Doug, Rocco's Modern Life, Invader Zim, Ah Real Monsters, uh, Hey Arnold, Rugrats. Oh god, so many other shows. Um, whatever Fox was limping to the barn with on a Saturday morning outside Power Rangers, I would watch cartoons. For me, as a kid, they were an escape. They were a fantasy that I got to enjoy for 10 to 30 minutes at a time. It was enjoyable for me. I liked it a lot. The problem is, at the same time, mind you, I was not aware that somewhere down the line, I would have to give them up. At least by the standards set forth by network executives and producers. Because once you turn 18, I guess you're no longer considered a child. Hell, probably even 13. You wouldn't be considered a kid anymore. So therefore, you can't like children's stuff. Like cartoons, and, you know, playing, and recess, and video games. None of that stuff can be enjoyed by anybody under the age of 13 by executives in charge of those things. And that bothers me. I mean, I like cartoons. I like cartoons now, even as an adult. I will constantly try to track down a cartoon that I enjoyed. I mean, I watched Batman the Animated Series. Wasn't a huge fan of it, but when I was a kid, I liked it. Superman, again, same thing. Although, I actually don't think I really liked Superman either as a kid, but it was a way to kill 30 minutes. Um, I liked a lot of the stuff that the kids WB would have on on a Saturday morning, and even in the afternoons. Hell, I remember watching The Centurions. You all know my thoughts on The Centurions. I loved that show as a kid. I still love it now as an adult. There's G-Force, um, so many other shows. So many cartoons. I'll even throw Captain Planet into this crap hole. I was one I watched a lot as a kid. And... Yeah, let's just put it this way. I recycle about as much as the next person. So, <laughs> yeah. There is that. But there are cartoons that are made for adults as well. I mean, you have South Park as a prime example. The Simpsons, King of the Hill, Family Guy, American Dad, Aqua Teen Hunger Force, 12 Ounce Mouse, Squidbillies. And most of this stuff I'm literally naming from Adult Swim. 
th that's literally where it came from. There's even ones that were made for adults on other networks, like Gary the Rat and Stripperella, that were sequential only to Spike TV, which Paramount Network as of now, but back then it was Spike. Literally, right when Spike started, that's one of the first two shows that came out were Gary the Rat and Stripperella. So, yeah. Interesting. But at the same time, yeah, there's also downsides to everything in the concept of the universe. I mean, sure, I enjoy cartoons. That doesn't mean I'm a bad person for liking them. That doesn't mean I'm weird or strange. I find it entertaining because it takes me back to a point in time when I was a carefree child. Is that a bad thing that I, being 30 years old, want to remember what it was like when I was 5 or 6? You know, back when the world wasn't such a horrible place, back when I could enjoy myself, back when all I had to worry about was going to school, getting picked on, and basically getting in trouble. Whereas, let's fast forward a few decades, and I gotta worry about bills, expenses, my job, getting up in the morning to go to that job, and anything else. When I was a kid, I was content with life. It was perfect for me. And cartoons were an integral part of that. And I doubt I'm the only one that feels this way. So many of us have our favorite cartoon. That one show that no matter what happens in the world, no matter how horrible our lives become, it is the one show that we will always gravitate back to. Because it is has the one thing that we remember, the positive memories. And you could care less that even as you get older, you realize how horrible it is, you'll still watch it. I mean, for me, I loved the show Superhuman Samurai Cyber Squad, the Saban take on Gridman. When you watch the older episodes now, they suck. But for me, it's special. Because back then, that was something to me that was unique. It was cool. It was amazing. Sure, by nowadays standards, they blow chunks because the graphics have improved, half of the stuff looks aged as shit, and all the other crap in the world. But that's the key thing. That's what makes it unique. That's what makes it memorable. And that's what always will bring us that one step closer to peace and harmony amongst ourselves because that's the one thing we will always have. That one moment, that one show, that one thing that will always remind us of who we are. And nobody can say, just because you turn 18, you can't watch this anymore. I know parents that watch preschool crap with their kids. You tell me a single parent, at least anywhere between the ages of 30 and 40, that is not watched Dora the Explorer with their kids. You cannot tell me that they weren't screaming at that TV themselves going, it's in the back. It's in the back. I know this is for my kid to watch, but for God's sake, it's in the back. I can see it. Why the hell can't you? Just turn around. I know there's a, like, there's a meme out there of uh, Jerry Trainer's character from Drake and Josh doing that, flipping out on Door of the Explorer. And that's the whole thing. Parents who are well into decades of knowledge and experience are watching cartoons with their kids. They know the kids' programming better than they better than the freaking kids do. How many parents out there have ever watched Caillou for God's sake? Caillou! Yeah! If you actually watch that train wreck, congratulations, you have patience. I watched like one episode when my cousins were up years and years ago. I mean like back when I was in my 20s. And it sucked. So bad. Oh my god, did it blow. It blew chunks. And then you have the shows that will just always have, you know, special moments that you will always remember. And just something that about the show that brought you comfort as a child. Just because you become an adult doesn't mean you have to shred off those things. There's always, 
always going to be that little child version of you. That's always standing by your side. That's always looking at you going, you know, I know things look horrible, but we can do this. It will always be there. Every time you're stressed out. Every time you're enraged. Every time something just isn't going your right. The ATM isn't giving you your money. Your lease is up. Your car's getting towed. You're getting rained on. Somebody came by and kicked you square in the nuts. That little version of you. That childhood you will always be there. Comforting you. And how you comfort it is watching the shows that you enjoyed when you were a kid. No one can tell you that they can't that you can't watch them. There's nothing that says that you cannot watch it. When I turned 18 and I became a, an adult, a technical adult, nobody nobody had me sign a paper that said I could not watch cartoons. I could not eat candy. I could not drink soda. Nothing about that was ever put in black and white to me. Just because you become an adult doesn't mean you have to give up your childish things. And these TV network executives need to realize this. Just because a show worked well for one age group and for one age bracket doesn't mean it's going to work for everybody. I mean, a perfect example of this, let's say you'd have a cartoon series that has been a massive staple for at least 10 years. 10 years, not 20. You you know what's been 20 years, but I'm not touching about that little yellow bastard. So you have a show that's been successful for 10 years, and in the 10 years, basically, you want to try to keep it going. So you want to pander it to the next generation from the generation that has been a humongous fan of it. There's nothing wrong with attempting to make it new for them, but don't alienate the people that made it what it was. By taking away what made it unique, you're taking away what they remembered and what they had memories of and what brought them that comfort, that joy. And then you're basically ruining it for the next one. Because by that point, if the original viewer doesn't want to watch it anymore, that negativity is going to be transferred to the next generation. I mean, I can give you a perfect example of how true this is. When I was growing up, I was hated by most of my class in school. I mean, hell, I didn't start earning their respect in a way, mind you, till I was like in 11th grade. Okay? And this hatred started all the way back in kindergarten. Yeah. I had, like, one best friend from 8th grade on. And then eventually I ended up getting some others. And I eventually found a close little group of people that I still talk to. Albeit not as much as I should, but I try. And they saw me for me. But the rest of my class before that, I was hated. Because for a majority of them, their parents saw me. Their parents took one look at me and said, he's going to hurt my kid. He's stronger than my kid. And then just like that, that hatred, that fear was transferred to the child. And just like that, just that one moment, you no longer have the sensibility of not looking and judging a book by its cover anymore. Because now you've been spoon fed what you think the story's about without ever getting to know somebody because here's a big surprise you felt it from someone that had memories that was older than you that same thing happens with television shows if the older population the older generation doesn't like what you've done to a show that they watched as a kid and something that they enjoy then what's going to happen is that's negativity. That entire amount is going to be poisoned by the next generation because they're going to hate it by default. Because that's what happens. But what do I know? However, I'd like to know what you think. 
Let me know in the comments section below what your thoughts are. Do you think cartoons are solely for kids and no adults? Or do you think adults should be allowed to watch cartoons if they want to? Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments section below. And until next time, this is Andrew Rhodes, and this has been Andrew Discusses.